this conference will highlight to a great extent on the reproductive rights and sexual rights of uh, women and we feel that for any development agenda this is extremely crucial. On behalf of the all-party parliamentary group on sexual and reproductive health and rights, I welcome you all to Sweden. We may have different priorities depending on the situation of our individual countries and regions. But if there is one thing I hope we can agree on, it is that we are all fully committed to continue and implement the ICPD program of action beyond 2014. We believe that the future of the ICPD depends in part on how bold you are in this room. We can get the health systems in place, we can get the midwives there, but if we don't raise the status of women in our society, maternal mortality would always be high. If in the next three days we're able to use the evidence we have to translate this into compassionate law and policies which will serve the best interests of our people, then this conference will have been a success. Every other minute one woman dies and that is bad. We have to change. We are our It's quite surprising that uh, such practices are still uh, in place. It's very sad. It's empowering youth is of course human empowering and is a form of development. I mean, it's not a question of supporting, but a question of investment. We came to doubling our investment in family planning from $70 million a year to $140 million a year a couple years ago at the London Family Planning Summit uh, because we knew that family planning saves lives. We live in one world, and let's live and let live. Everyone deserves a space in this our, our one world. Without visionary and decisive leadership, the Cairo Agreement is just simply a paper. Now may I ask you all to adopt the statement of commitment by acclamation? Yeah. <laughs>